Earlier today, some residents were stacking sandbags around their home to stop potential flooding. I mean, the water was coming in through the back door, the front door, through the window. 49-year-old Lionel Collins furniture lays on the sidewalk of Forest Glen Drive, damp and destroyed from Thursday night's storm. My dogs were acting kind of weird. So I took the cover from over my head and I looked. And I had about a foot and a half of water in the entire house. Colin says the neighborhood floods often, but out of the eight years he's been living here, it's never gotten this bad. He says whenever they get heavy rain, there is a clogged creek that pushes large amounts of water into the area. I called the city out on several occasions and they've sent crews out to temporarily assess the situation. Other residents in the area are dealing with the same issue. And I went to Holland, I'm like, oh, water. And so I had to start getting, pulling out uh, blankets or whatever to saturate the water. With more severe weather headed Jackson's way soon, Vanessa Collins is taking precautionary measures to keep the water out of her home. I went about saying on yesterday and they have it done like that to put around the back of my house because they say it's going to rain on next week. The residents are pleading with the city to create a permanent fix. Make sure that the creeks are cleared, you know, so that the individuals in the neighborhood won't have to worry about flooding. Because when the creeks flood, ov overflow rather, it flood the houses out in the neighborhood. We reached out to the city. We are still waiting to hear back. Reporting from Jackson, Brooklyn Joyner, 16 WAPT News.